Is there somebody you would like to play on screen? Uh, I will not fit in now. Who? But is there somebody? Shaurabh Ganguly. Ah, that would be great. <laughs> I will not fit in, but yes, I think he is our real dada. I lost my dad, best friend, Ritu Pornokosh, honestly speaking. Hmm. We were okay. the same age, we are just a few months difference and uh, he was a mentor, he was a friend, he was a guide, everything. Like I, I really lost him. And nowadays, everybody is like senior to me or maybe too young to me. There is a basic difference between every language. Yeah. Right? Everybody has their own strength. Hmm. Right? I'm sure if you see Marathi, they have a huge culturally rich with theatres and you know, they, they do a very different kind of cinema, hmm. they do a different kind of a play. Bengali is also very close to that and even Malayali. Hmm. So every state has its own strength. Today, if we, we even try to do a film like Bahubali, hmm. then we have to do a history. We believe in it. Every language has their own strength. Right. So it's not always that if you do a very big film, it will only reach out to the bigger people. Hmm. You have to do a right film, which comes from your heart. Yeah it will reach to the uh, wider audience. That's my faith. Have offers been coming in in the last, let's say, after Shanghai till Jubilee in that period? Yeah. What offers coming in? I got really good offers. I got, uh, especially I'm talking about OTT. Hmm. Even before I started my Jubilee, I got a lot of offers. Because this is, I think, this is a time for Indian talents to, and they know me and they know the kind of work now I'm doing. I'm not doing a very that commercial, commercial hero. Because True. my last 10 years journey, they, everybody knows about mm -hmm. it. So I think, yeah, but I was not doing this, not that I have, it, it was very calculative decision. Uh, for us, it, nothing is very calculative. It's, it, it just happens. Hello everyone, welcome to News 18 Shosha and today we have with us a very special guest, the superstar of Tollywood, Prashanjit Chatterjee, fondly known as Boombada by many. Thank you. Hi sir, how are you? I am doing good. Great. Absolutely enjoying uh, the Calcutta Bombay hit, at the same time the Jubilee <laughs> hit. <laughs> That's great and it's a, such a pleasure to have you, to be finally speaking to you because I have only spoken to you over telephone. Right, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. This time I'm in Bombay for a long time and uh, and uh, of course, I mean after Jubilee, it's been like everybody's calling me and saying, why aren't you being in Bombay? You need yes. to be in Bombay. So yeah, but my other film got released on 14th April. It was just a seven days gap, which is on Boyla Boyshak. Yeah, on the Boyla Boyshak, mm. the Bengali New Year's. Yes. So that film also has been like critically hugely acclaimed, and that's a, again a very different kind of a cinema and a different kind of a role, mm -hmm. which is not at all close to Srikanth Roy. Very true. So yeah, I'm enjoying this uh, particular time. I would rather say that uh, in one side, yeah, it's Jubilee where. After a long time, I've did something nationally, so people are really talking about high about this show, and uh, yeah, and I'm it's really a, it's enjoying. It's a brilliant it. show. It is. I'm really enjoying it, honestly speaking. Yeah, but do you enjoy staying in Mumbai? Of course, why not? I've been coming to Mumbai from my childhood, and uh, I have my apartment. I've got my flat. I've got my car, and my dad is here from last seventy, <laughs> maybe sixty years, sixty-five years. So, yeah, we are half Bombay, but yeah, for my work, I spend a lot of time, but now I'm going to spend a lot of time in Bombay. Okay, so let's talk about Jubilee. You play yes. Srikant Roy, like you said. This is the studio head of uh, Roy Talkies. Interestingly, this is not the only or the first show where you have played, let's say, a superstar. You have done that in Jishto Putro. You were an actor. Uh, there was Mohan Ayuk. There was... Autograph. Autograph, of course. Uh, so, in all of these things, we get to see the flip side, the downside of stardom, how it is. You are a superstar yourself. What do you think is the downside of being a star? You see, you, have, you, you named these three firms, right? Autograph and Jashto Putro, which all won National Award. Autograph is a game changer firm yes. in a way, Srijit's first firm. And, uh, and of course, Mohan Ayub is something which was close to uh, a Uttam Kumar's uh, a kind of, uh, I'll not say biopic, the way we did Jubilee, it's not a biopic, but here yeah, take off from uh, mm -hmm. Mohan Ayok, Uttam Kumar and uh, uh, that's that's a different thing. But if you talk about Jeshtaputra and uh, autograph, you will see what is, what 
Today's date, even even if you see the, the, the film which has been done by Satyajit Ray, mm. which I think every Indian film lovers at least had watched it, Uttam Kumar played Nayo. Yes. What does it say, the inner sight of a star? Mm. You see, the the worst thing, I think, I think people just see the, the outsider, outside thing of a star or a celebrity. No, I will not say it's just a film star I'm talking about, it's a celebrity. But you tell me one thing, very, very simple, I'm asking you one thing, that if anybody, normal people, son gets like hurt or he's not well, the way he will react, even a celebrity or an actor will also react in the same Absolutely. way. People forget that. Hmm. And that really gives us a huge pain. End hmm. of the day, we are also human beings. What, you see, in the Jeshto Putra, what was that? That the I family know. didn't... Ex he is a winner. He's a lot. I mean, the chief minister is offering him a helicopter to reach to the village. Everybody, for everybody, he's a superstar. Once he, once he comes to his original family with the brother and all, he's a failure. They are saying you failed because you failed in the family. You weren't there so, when so we needed this you. this is a very... I mean, yeah, there are a lot of films in the world to, on, on this celebrity. So I think Himang Shura is again, he's, he's not a negative character. Hmm. He's a man who made his own emperor and he wants to keep it on. When he comes and tells to his account people that I have a picture hai, hmm. or a picture hai, and I will, I will come back. Hmm. So you see, the kind of passion this creative people have, Failure, failure matlab, you have to come up with a success. Yeah. And I think that is where you get wrong, you take a wrong decision sometime and maybe you think this is right thing and it, it fails. So it, and because end of the day, nobody is God, right? True, nobody we forget is that. Astrology. Why do people forget that? Galtiya to insan se hi hota hai. Bilkul. Right, but we we sometimes make really this star, superstar, whatever. I don't know. I don't understand all this. I don't know this language basically. Really? Whatever, huh, I don't know. <laughs> but what I believe that uh, I think people make a su superman. So, वो किताबों में अच्छे लगते हैं, cinema में, not real. Not real life. That's that's not real. We always shaken up in this pandemic. Hmm. Like any other people, we couldn't go out. We were yeah. all stuck. Why? <laughs> very, very true. No, I completely agree with you. Uh, but like you said, sir, uh, you know, a lot of people are now asking you after the success of Jubilee that why don't you come to Bombay more often? Probably do more work here. But I'm giving this answer. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm asking, have offers been coming in in the last, let's say, after Shanghai till Jubilee in that period? What offers coming in? I got really good offers. I got, uh, especially I'm talking about OTT. Hmm. Even before I started my Jubilee, I got a lot of offers. Because this is, I think, this is a time for Indian talents to, and they know me and they know the kind of work now I'm doing. I'm not doing a very that commercial, commercial hero. Because True. my last 10 years journey, they everybody knows about mm -hmm. it. So I think, yeah. But I was not doing, it's not that I have, it was a very calculative decision. Uh, for us, it, nothing is very calculative. It's, it, it just happens. But if you see, I really try to work with new age directors, whether it's Mangla. Hmm. Of course, when Ritu also started, it was Unish April because he was first firm. Then Srijit started. And now I work with Koshik and Otonu, all this hmm. new. So I, I, I look that I should work with somebody who will allow me to reinvent myself. Yeah, yeah. So in a way, Vikram is one of those finest, I think, new age director in our country. A lot of this, I mean, it's not because I've just worked with him. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I have watched his work. I think Wuhan was one of those fantastic Absolute. film making. So when, that was one kick. Then when he narrated me Srikanth Roy, I, I think no actor can say no to this kind of a character. And then you all can see the final product, mm. right? So it's it's not always calculative, but I was waiting for the right role. I'm coming to that point. Okay, okay. I used to do 22 films. I used to do around 14 films a year. In a year. So in last 10 years, I do only two, two films a year. Max to max three. 
but for me now work in a way has to give me a kind of i will say my own satisfaction i have mm. spoken to my family maine 30 saal kar liya let me also enjoy my work yeah so that's the reason i do a shrikant roy i do a balmiki of sheshpata again i do a kaka babu which is a bumper hit super hit mm-hmm. franchise i am doing my puja release is the you know prequel of sujit uh, baishas rabon you know what what I, it was like one of those game changer absolutely. hits absolutely so in that particular film i died now this character is so like that particular police officer character is so strong so we are trying to do a prequel on that that's great so i know till 2025 what are the bengali films i'm doing what are my release dates mm-hmm. so i don't have to calculate on that so now as a I, I you're more relaxed now. Yeah, I'm more relaxed. I don't have anything to race with somebody. I want to do my good work, some sensible work, and I'm I'm really ready to do even a Marathi film. I'm oh, ready great. to do a Malayali film. Amazing. Ha, why not? <laughs> yeah. The kind of cinema or maybe the kind of shows happening. I mean, I sometimes see. Arey, ye character jo hai na, I should have done this. Yare, ye character mere. You are doing so good work now. Mm-hmm. So I think language is not a barrier now. That's a that's the best thing now. No, very so true. So much very of right talent, not only actors. I'm talking about the technicians. It's coming now. But was there ever a time when you felt like you know I'm a part of the ra- uh, rat race? Of course. How how did you deal with that kind of pressure constantly? I, you see, first when we start the career, like I never thought that I'm going to be number one or number two, whatever, whatever, whatever. Hmm. It was just continuously my effort. Yeah, and I had to build my own image. Very sadly, I mean, the time when we entered to my Bangla industry, mm-hmm. uh, it was declared as a dead industry hmm. for many reasons. So really, I started my career with black and white film. The budget used to be eighteen twenty lakhs. With my film, I did a budget of around eight 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 to ten crores, and I gave the return. So you can understand the kind of journey I had done. Yeah, I'm doing the entire film in Egypt. I'm doing the entire film in Switzerland, and now my next generation is also doing very good work. Mm-hmm. The young stars are doing; they are doing fabulous work. So I'm I'm trying to say, I've been constantly only doing cinema. Mm-hmm. Now, again after forty years, I thought, and I think, this is the best time to explore yourself nationally, in any land. Yeah. I was in rat race, of course. There was mm. number one, number two. Of course, I will. I mean, my friend has just passed away. But Tapos Pal and Prashant, there was a time it was like they were the two names basically. Yeah. So and we never had a race, but we were really carrying the Bengali film for, for, in, in a in a in a very positive manner. Absolutely. I mean, you will not believe we were the rivals. It happened. I couldn't give a date to some director because my date problem. I called him up and said. Yeah, two a picture kar le. Wow, that's such a nice Because thing. Because this unit is going to set maybe for six months. Two mm-hmm. kar le, and my next wala kar le. So it was not confidence over confidence. It was like, ham log dono hai. We'll take care of everything. That kind of a thing. That's so lovely because you know it is said that it's lonely at the top, but it was not. You had that <coughs> no, kind no, of no, brotherhood. No, no, not at all. My when my mother passed away, when me and my sister was doing the puja. Hmm. He was with me. He said, "Kevin said, Marshima used to tell me, 'Elder bro- son, so can I be part of your puja? Hmm. We are the topmost rivals, as people say." He came and he sat and he did puja when my my mom passed away. Okay. So, I think that relation is there, you know, within ourselves. But today's date, even you have it, it's placed in a very different manner, which we we get sometimes very scared about. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, sir, you uh, spoke about reinventing yourself, uh, especially with you know uh, Ritu Purno Ghosh. So I I think this was how it played out. Initially, you were known as this sort of romantic hero. Then action came in. Then of course Ritu Purno Ghosh Sri Jita. Was the point of reinventing yourself to stay relevant across generations? Of course, that's number one. Hmm. I think that's something which I I had learned from. Uh, Yes, Chopra ji. Hmm. When I used to meet him, and I used to think that this man with this age, how can this man do a Dilwale or you know, 
this kind of a young firm. Yeah. Whatever his age was, hmm. from heart he was young, and he used to cater for the younger audience. So till today, I always believe that every day I should have a new audience, one at least, a new fan yeah. or an audience who will love me. So even Kaka Babu, I did in that same manner when I used to go to a party or in a social gathering. Do bachche log aake bolte? I see you on TV. They may be, <laughs> their father mother will not take them in the theaters. So one fine morning, I thought, why don't I do something for these kids? For the kids. Now, if I go to a party or somewhere, they tell me Kaka Babu because they relate me mm. for that particular. But that's for them. Yeah. So with the time when this multiplex came, a huge young generation was going to multiplexes, mm. but I think we were not able to give them the kind of a cinema they want to watch or the song which they want to right. hear it out. Again, it's a blessing of God and my mother. Hmm. I think I had done an autograph. I had done a Vaishya Shravan. It was a huge change hmm. with with Srijit Mukherjee, first time director. Yeah. With Anupam Roy as the first time composer. Uh, composer, and which created a history. Hmm. So you see, again after eleven years, I have started doing something like Sheshpata or a Jubilee, because again this is new, new wave. Again a new audience. Hmm. If you are Series or a film is a good film, even it doesn't run in theater. I know it is going to at least reach out to a wider audience. Films, yeah, which I'm enjoying honestly. Right. So forty years, like from Dui Pata to Shesh Pata yeah, now. Yeah, Dui Pata to Shesh Pata. Yes. Uh, any regret? In our in our life, there are so much to. I mean, if I start digging it out, I mean, there, at least there will be thousand. Things which will come out saying mm. I shouldn't have done this. Mm. It's very mm. obvious. It happens with everybody. Mm. But we have been always asked. So ke saath hota hai. But we have been asked. <laughs> People like you will ask me. But regret is not there. Honestly speaking, today's date when I I look back, I think uh, no, I don't regret for anything. I think whatever God has given me, uh, it's it's a blessing mm. and. Uh, I I am a very hard working uh, person as a as a person, and I I don't carry any kind of uh, baggages. Hmm. I don't believe in it basically. I'm a star, I'm a year, I'm a. I don't want to wear all those things. I've never been like that. So I think I'm I'm very happy what I, God has given me, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Lastly, sir, tell me what will it take for Bengali cinema uh, to get the kind of pan-Indian attention that now South films are enjoying? You see, there is a basic difference between every languages. Yeah. Right. Everybody has their own strength. Hmm. Right. I'm sure if you see Marathi, they have a huge culturally rich with theaters, and you know, they they do a very different kind of cinema. Hmm. They do a different kind of a play. Bengal is also very close to that, and even Malayali. Hmm. So every state has its own strength. Today, if we we even try to do a film like Bahubali, hmm. then we have to do a history. We believe in it. Hmm. Hmm. So why I'm talking about this? When Ritu Pono Ghosh did Chokher Bali, which was a god subject, hmm. in a very the way he wants to do the film, but it was been watched by all of our Indian people that time. Or maybe Manisha did a Roja hmm. sitting in South, which was a completely a love story. Yeah, it became a viral in India. I'm talking about 17, 18, 19 years back. Hmm. So nobody talks about this. So every language has their own strength. Right. So it's not always that if you do a very big film, it will only reach out to the bigger people. Hmm. You have to do a right film, which comes from your heart. Yeah. It will reach to the uh, wider audience. That's my faith. Yeah, great. Uh, before we let you go, I just have five questions just for the audience to understand and uh, know a little more about you very quickly. What's your biggest fear? People shouldn't misunderstand me as a human, as a human being. Okay. Okay. What was your first paycheck? My first paycheck. Check. I got a check of uh, I think five hundred and one. And I bought a sari for my mom, and that the film was Duty Bata. That was your first paycheck. Wow. Okay. Oh, who's your best friend in the film industry? I lost my best friend, Ritu Pornokosh. Honestly speaking, hmm. we were okay. the same age. We are just 
few months difference and uh, he was a mentor he was a friend he was a guide everything like i, I really lost him and it, nowadays mm. everybody is like senior to me or maybe too young to me yeah okay a film that changed your life ha ah, it's difficult but of course i would surely love to say amor shongi Yeah. Today, what I am today is for that particular film, which ran for seventy-five weeks. Yes, yes. Platinum Jubilee. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And and lastly, is there somebody you would like to play on screen? Ah, uh, I will not fit in now. Who? But is there somebody? Sure, I'm going to leave. Ah, that would be great. <laughs> I'll not fit in, but yes, I think he is our real dada. Great. Well, it's never too late. You yeah, but I, I have crossed that age <laughs> because for his biopic. But yeah, I would surely love to work hard to do something on Shora. That's we great. We are proud of him. Yes, yes, and we are proud of you too. Thank you, sir. And uh, on that note, thank you so much, sir, for your time. Thank you. This was great. Hi, this is Prashant Chatterjee. You are watching News 18 Shosha. Thank you. God bless.